the push in to make fully automated synthesis mine the top priority. Your echo unit is the perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving and you're just now telling me Jack's not... Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? You were talking to command. Oh, yeah. Sorry you had to hear that. I... Hang on, are you... Are you stuck in there? My diagnostic program crashed. That's never happened before. The pod's release procedures may have been affected. Worked that one out on your own, did you? I failed to see how sarcasm is going to help. Sorry, can't help it. Part of my wily British charm. Weren't you born in space? You want out of there or not? You're upset. Listen, about my conversation with command, how much did you overhear? Not much. Well, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna put it out there. You're no longer coming with me to Ceres. What do you mean? The directors want you to take over my duties as commander of the station. It'll just be you and the labor units. No humans. So this is our last week together? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. There's no need to apologize, Olivia. While the situation is... unfortunate, it's not your fault. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. Your swear count is not increased for nearly 10 hours. Congratulations. Oh, quit playing with that damn thing. I mean, shit. Never mind. Ass. Shit. Damn. Assistance. Can I assist you? Attachment detected. I should activate the bridge. that on purpose
Transitioning to daytime cycle. I'm really going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. You seem upset. You're getting way too good at reading human responses, you know that. Well, I have had a few years of practice. Yeah, it shows. Uh, can I help you? Command splitting us up. It, it bothers you. I just thought you'd be coming with me, is all. No assignment is ever permanent. I would think you'd know that better than anyone. Well, that's certainly true. It is entirely possible that we will work together again sometime in the future. Maybe. Here's hoping. We do have an especially striking view of Saturn this morning. Almost like it's showing off. Do you happen to know what gives the planet its unique color? I do not. Please, tell me. Ammonia crystals in the upper atmosphere react with... You're just humoring me, aren't you? I know. So, Jack, I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days, you'll be Captain Jack. So, congratulations, Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo Unit, I hold no official rank. So, technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no... What was that? Jack, did you feel that? What the hell? P please tell me you can see that. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. <laughs> Never mind me, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Whatever that was, it looks to only have affected the electronics. Are you sure you're okay? Minor glitches, no permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, initiate board spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input. Saturn orbital zone beta. Orbital mining facility. Designation, Kronos 2. Central mining station. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we... Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? Ah, here we are. 
Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well. Problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Hera, status update on your scan of the anomaly. Scan currently 3% complete. 3%? What's the problem? The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Lovely. Well, in the meantime, we've got three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. What do you say we get started on those repairs? Good idea. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. This is an official Echo Arena disc. Where did you acquire it? My dad got it for me at a match back on Juno. You know, you'd probably be pretty good at it. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to play? Occasionally. I do find the game's strategies intriguing. You should give it a go sometime with the labor unit. It'd be good for you to have a hobby. These are all items I have given to Liv. She appears to have kept them in excellent condition. There will be no use for this equipment once the station is fully automated. My own motor functions do not atrophy. Jack, now I know that was on purpose. Fortunately, this backup echo unit appears to be functional. I can transfer to it if necessary. Ready when you are. Come on then. 
Let's go sort out those malfunctions. Not the best way to start our last week. Don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. We've also never had an unidentified spatial anomaly suddenly appear directly off our port bow. It's a day of firsts, really. You do realize it's possible we just made a groundbreaking scientific discovery. Well, let's not go writing our Nobel acceptance speeches just yet. I mean, not until we're certain the station isn't going to fall apart. Warning, unsecured cargo in the hold. Yeah, that much I worked out. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Negative. Okay, well, we might want to look into that. All right, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any priority alerts? Well, it will be your station soon. What problem do you want to tackle first? Send the data to my ARM computer. I'll have a look. Let's see. Take a look at your objectives on your ARM computer and let me know which one you want to address first. Let's get the cargo bay squared away. All right. One of the cargo banks must be malfunctioning. We probably blew a fuse. I'd start by checking the fuse compartment at each cargo bank. Hera, unlock them, please. Just don't pull any good fuses, or we'll have loads more cleanup to do. An encrypted audio file. Curious. When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption. Check the fuse compartments, Jack. See if you can find a blown fuse. Jack, that's not... Oh, now you did it. Oops. That was a good fuse, Jack. Put it back. I think I've located the problem. This fuse is blown. We'll need a replacement. Affirmative. Wait there, I'll bring you a new one from the supply drawers. This should do it. Thank you. Got you covered. Power flow restored. Maglocks coming online. Copy that. Go ahead and secure the cargo. I should put this away. A strong contact from the maglocks. That's one down.
I'm starting to crack the encryption. If I find more CubeSats, I should be able to save the completed audio file to my ARM computer. That will let me share any files I find with Liv once I've gathered enough information. An early Christmas present. Who is this from? Titan Command Center. They send one to every officer assigned to a remote station. Why do they do that? To remind us of civilization, I suppose. Some people don't take well to the isolation. It can be taxing. Cargo secure. Good. Now you just have to clean up the rest of the mess you made. This lever locks the cargo in place in case of a power failure. squared away before you move on. Just one more to go. All the cargo has been stowed. Let's lock the system down to make sure this doesn't happen again. I'll throw the lockdown lever. Down engaged. Thanks, Jack. I feel better already. Let's move on, shall we? Well, there's still the temperature spike in core containment and the power failure in the oxygen garden. What's next on the agenda? Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. Okay, follow me. Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. And of course, the access panel is stuck. Jack, I think you're going to have to cut through. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Right. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. Reactive cutter and headlamp calibrated successfully. Copy that. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. Excellent, follow me. Let's get started. Hmm. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Affirmative. Turn your headlamp on, Jack. It's pitch dark in here.
Olivia, I've located the maintenance panel. Perfect. Keep your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. Looks like we've got some fused wiring. Status report? The short caused a full system crash. We'll need to reset each of the environmental controls. Can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess? You will certainly be leaving Kronos 2 with a vast surplus of duct tape, Liv. That's because duct tape fixes everything. Everything? What? You don't think so? No, it can't. I have repair schematics for over 50,000 hardware profiles, and none of them mention duct tape. Well, you're just not being creative enough. As you say, Captain. I've reached the junction cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the bolts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Affirmative. Going hot. Electronic interface. I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the I.O. port. Emergency power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready. I'll need to cut the bolt off this cover, too. The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. Bio-regenerative systems calibrated. CO2 capture optimized for both plant and mammalian passengers. Mammalian, huh? How flattering. Apologies, Liv. I didn't mean to sound... clinical. Once I'm gone, you'll probably be able to shut down this part of the room. I think I'll keep it, actually. To add color. Jack, you aren't starting to enjoy botany, are you? Is that unusual? Use the junction to select another system. The alert must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. Water flow restored. Irrigation system within operating parameters. Good. That should help keep the plants healthy. That's two down. Let's tackle the last system. The transformer can't form a complete circuit. We probably need to realign the coils. Run a scan to confirm. The coils have been damaged. Hmm, shit. Unlock them so we can get a closer look. Conversion coils unlocked. As long as we can still form one complete row, we should be able to get the transformer back online. Current stabilized. Conversion process successful. Current strong. Nice job. Once I finish replacing these wires, we should be able to get the lights on. Para, verify all oxygen garden subsystems. Subsystems within normal parameters. Right. I'm about done here. Do you see the access panel near me? Despite the damage, the test groups appear unharmed. 
I see the access panel. Good. You'll need to wait and throw the main breaker on my mark. Got it? Acknowledged. I will await your command before throwing the breaker. Removing utility cover. Please stand by. I've got to pump the primer handle before you throw the breaker. Let me know when you're ready and I'll count us down. On your command. Acknowledged. Throw the switch in three, two, one. I'm clear. Oxygen garden operational. Environmental control systems restored. That's one more system we don't have to worry about. Hopefully it stays that way. Don't jinx it, Jack. There's no wood to knock on around here. Am I pointing that somewhere else? That just leaves the temperature spike in core containment. Follow me, Jack. Yes, Jack? Find anything? Nothing conclusive. Your body is radiation hardened. Care to take a look inside? I'll see what I can ascertain. Hera, disable all containment safety protocols and unseal the hatch. Acknowledged. Awaiting manual operation. Head on in. I'll see you on the other side. I should finish calibrating my radiation shield before we continue. Acknowledged. Standing by. Radiation shield fully operational. Copy that. Let's get started by opening the core enclosures. The code is 5826. Authorization accepted. Radiological activity detected. Explains the temperature spike. At least one of the fusion cores is leaking radiation. Your scanner should help you zero in on the source. Fairly active. Not a bad starting point. Keep looking in that area. Hmm, not getting any warmer. Try scanning in another direction. Nice shot. I'd say that warrants a closer look. I'll activate the I.O. port so you can scan it to open the enclosure. Enclosure unlocked. You'll need to scan the individual cores to determine which is causing the problem. Shields at 95%. Microfractures in the fuel assembly. Radiation at unsafe levels. That could contaminate the entire fuel reserve. We'll need to jettison the core. To unlock it, enter 6102 at the central console. Access denied. Wrong code, Jack. Try 6102. Core released. Bring it to the disposal conduit at the bottom of the chamber. Once you open the conduit, you'll need to seat the core into the launch tube and use the lever to eject it. Keep an eye on your shield Emergency level Emergency disposal in conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. Radioactive material jettisoned. The area is still irradiated. There has to be another damaged core. Check the other enclosures. I'll keep looking. A second hotspot. I'm activating the I.O. port so you can check the enclosure.
This core is similarly damaged. Bloody hell. It has to go. Punch in 7641 at the central console to unlock it. Remind me what to do next. You need to unlock the damaged core. The code is 7641. Same routine here. Run it to the disposal conduit and jettison the core. Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. Radioactive material jettisoned. Radiation levels returning to normal. Thank God for that. Looks like we live to fight another day. Let's shut the enclosure so we can get you out of there. Re-enter the code in the center console. 5826. Core containment re-engaged. Hmm. You're looking a bit worse for wear. Maybe you should use your arm computer to upload to another shell? Initiating manual reboot. Reboot initiated. I'll meet you on the other side, by the hatch. Sharp, Jack. Did you get dolled up for me? I was only replacing a piece of defective hardware. No offense, but it's a bit creepy when you talk about it that way. Chamber temperature is back within normal limits. Nice job in there, Jack. Thank you. All right, that ought to do it. We're all set. Hey, Jack. High five. There you go. I appreciate the help, Jack. That's what I'm here for. And here I thought it was to keep me from going round the bend. I chose to abandon that directive some time ago. Shut up. That's not funny. Captain Rhodes, full spectrum scan of the anomaly is complete. All right, Hera. Push the results to the hollow table in the EVA staging area. Acknowledged. Come on, Jack. Let's go have a look at the results. Maybe we'll learn something useful about this anomaly of ours. That does seem likely, considering we currently know nothing at all. Hmm, suppose I can't argue with that. Okay, Jack. Let's see what we have. Hera, status report. Status, green. All systems nominal. Well, that's good news. 
But what about our anomaly? Where is it? Hera, display the anomaly's current location. Acknowledged. Ah, there we go. Wait, hang on. Hera, is this image to scale? Affirmative. So the anomaly has increased in size. Not a good sign. Let's get a closer look. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Curious. I can't make head nor tail out of any of this data. What about you? The data appears to have been corrupted somehow. It's the same for all the readings. Spectrometer, interferometer, LIDAR, all rubbish. Interference from the anomaly must be disrupting the transmission signal. So, our sensor network is useless. What now? I'll exit the station and investigate the anomaly up close. Absolutely not. If I use my scanner, I can bypass the sensor network. I'll be able to examine the data in real time. We've seen what that thing can do to your systems. What if you get shut down out there? I'm specifically designed for operation in hazardous environments. It only makes sense. Besides, we need to determine the nature of this anomaly. And I suggest we do so quickly. Okay. Okay, well... No sense wasting any more time, then. Let's get you into the airlock, sharpish. Caution. Airlock opening. If you're going out there, you'll need an EVA rig. There should be some inside the airlock. Just take one off the rack. You'll need to secure the rig to your back. EVA rig secured. Initializing advanced movement systems. Stand by for calibration. EVA rig fully functional. Ready to disembark. Copy. Airlock controls unlocked. Pull down on the handle to close the inner door. Once the inner door is sealed, you're clear to cycle the airlock. Inner bulkhead sealed. Once the airlock is cycled, head outside and make your way to the anomaly. Get a scan if possible, but don't put yourself at any unnecessary risk. Understood. I'm going back up to the bridge. I can keep a better eye on your status from there. Keep this comm channel open. Maintain constant contact. Copy that. Depressurization complete. Ready yes. for EVA departure. Be careful out there. Don't worry, Liv. I'm sure it'll be no problem. Isn't that what we always say right before there's a problem? Exit.